Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for Coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Caroline Muja. I try to ask all time for coffee guests the following two questions. The first one is, if you could share a time for us, Caroline, in your professional life when you struggled, recognizing that you've only been sort of post-college work life since October of 2018, but nonetheless, you've had internships and other experiences in the quote unquote real world. Most importantly, how you persevered during that struggle and maybe a lesson that you took away from it. Yeah, there's so many, I feel like, challenges that I faced in this job process and being in two full time positions. One of the most challenging times was probably actually before I got my first job. When I was in the job search initially, I was so all over the place with applying for jobs and my informational interviews and was getting those rejections and getting those like kind of glimpses of hope that I would land the job. It was a time where I needed to dig deep and really focus on my worth and knowing that it would pan out, kind of just having this bigger picture that things would fall into place because I was getting so down sometimes about the rejections or oh that was the perfect job and that one would have been perfect. And if I only had that job, that would have made me happy and fulfilled. And I think you can get into such a rut about like the perfect job and the perfect scenario. Definitely found myself in that sometimes it led to comparing myself to my friends and other people in my life. I think what brought me out of it was staying close to my values and the things that I wanted out of life. And I knew that I wanted to be in a mission-driven company, as I've mentioned. I knew I wanted a work-life balance. I didn't want to settle. And I think at times it was easy to want to settle and want to just sort of maybe throw up my hands and take a break or take whatever was offered. But having that inner compass that was really strong throughout that process. And even the second time around when I was job searching after Mind Body Green, having an inner compass and an intuition that's guiding you to the right thing. And whether that's being in nature or meditating or finding time to connect to who you are and how that relates to what you're looking for was really helpful for me because it's so easy to get lost in the job boards and the what you think you should be doing and what other people think you should be doing. During those times of transition where I was in between jobs or looking, it was really helpful for me to continue to come back to what do I value What's important to me? What do I want my life to look like, my day to day? And is this opportunity potentially going to be that or at least lead me there? Wow. (laughs) I am just blown away by the wisdom that you have at such a young age. I am truly kind of gobsmacked. Thank it's you. really incredible and clearly a testament to your parents and the young woman that you are because honestly, I know people twice your age who still don't have that ability to bring that perspective into their life, Caroline. 
And I'm curious, what is your feeling now that you've had two jobs post-college about the idea of a perfect job? Do you think it exists? Mm -hmm. I do not think it exists because the perfect job is sort of this light at the end of the tunnel that I think people pursue. And I know I was sort of pursuing that at a time period. But I think that it's this idea that if you have the right job, that everything else will fall into place. Being in post-grad life, you realize that there is no perfect scenario. There is no perfect job because every day is different. There's different challenges that you face personally, financially, emotionally, professionally. And I think it all blends into the larger picture. So even if you have what you think is the perfect job, I think that there's going to be other aspects of your life that challenge you. If you think you have a perfect job, it may end up disappointing you if it doesn't end up panning out or months down the line, it's not what you thought. For me, I kind of think about it as maybe there are times where things feel perfect or they feel this is going really well or this part of my job is flourishing and just enjoying those times that are really going well. And then having perspective when things are challenging and knowing, okay, weeks ago, this was going well. So I think it's about shifting your perspective. I do think perfect job is a little bit of a dangerous path to go down because you'll end up disappointed if you think that there's a perfect job because there's so many aspects to a job. A company is a living thing in itself. It's changing and a lot's out of your control. So waiting for something to be perfect isn't really realistic. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.